morning, everyone, and welcome to Think Future. My name's Calabucas, and once again, we're coming at you live from deep in the heart of Silicon Valley, California. We're talking innovation startups of the future. We're still talking innovation, believe it or not. Not necessarily those, and not necessarily in that order. If you're watching on YouTube, smack that subscribe button and hit that bell so you can be notified when a new show pops up online. And if you're listening on your favorite podcast service, please, please subscribe and leave a review on Apple Podcasts. That'd be greatly greatly appreciated. So Facebook decided to do the alphabet thing last week and they renamed themselves Meta. And they seem to have stolen the name, they seem to have stolen the logo from another company named Meta. It's it's interesting and it, it kind of looks a bit like a like either a paperclip or a, an infinity symbol. I think it's probably supposed to be an infinity symbol. Kind of like twisted and twisted and warped, right? Twisted and warped. That's a good uh, good description of Facebook, isn't it? But I'm wondering why they're even bothering to do this. I mean, first of all, I have a real problem with the term metaverse, right? They keep talking about the metaverse, the metaverse, the metaverse, the metaverse, the metaverse. It's the combination of online and offline, blah, blah, blah. But really, it's just AR, VR. It's basically the same thing. And they, But they use the term metaverse. It's almost as... as incorrect as using the term hoverboard for a board that doesn't hover because if you ask me a hoverboard is what we saw in back to the future 2 that was an actual hoverboard it was a board that hovered but the metaverse is not a metaverse it is not a metaverse at all because a metaverse is a number of different universes a metaverse is a universe on top of other universes that's not what it is so meta picks a word kind of like alphabet picked a word so alphabet is we're gonna do everything so Facebook is like we're gonna be on top of everything because that's what meta means meta is a Greek term which means over if it was German it'd be uber so meta is a level above everything so what does that tell you what are they trying to say with the word meta I don't know about you, but basically everyone's going to continue calling them Facebook in the same way that everyone continues to call Alphabet Alphabet. So I don't understand what it is other than a branding exercise. And the whole concept of a metaverse and everyone's leapt on this damn concept and leapt on this word just like they leapt on hoverboard when they figured these things were hoverboards, but they're not actual hoverboards. What's next? Are we going to create a transporter, which is just, are we just going to call cars transporters instead of the thing on Star Trek that transports you from place to place? Are we going to create them, replicate, call them replicators or something completely different? But I digress. I think renaming a company really doesn't do much of anything. I, I don't see how people can look at it differently. It'll continue to be stuck as Facebook. Everybody will call it Facebook. So I don't understand how it's going to make things better. Is Facebook going to be different? Are they going to morph? Are they going to have a different culture? Are they going to become more open? Are they going to become more inclusive? Are they going to be care more about free speech? Are they going to reduce the amount of censorship they have on their platform? Who knows? I doubt it. I just think it's very sad. It's very sad that from the plethora of sites that we used to connect it to the internet in the past, we used to be able to go to all these different sites that most people now experience the internet through these five sites, Facebook being one of them. And I find that to be very sad because what's happened is that we've created these filters, we've created these middlemen that f go between humans because you've got human A and human B. And human A and human B both have something very important to say and both have something very important to learn. But when you have somebody like Meta or Facebook in between them filtering between these two interfaces, not allowing human A and human B to communicate freely between each other, then I think you have a problem and that is what needs to be solved and it will be solved not with a name change but with a full-on culture change at Meta. That's it for me for today. See you next time and until then don't forget to think future.